Meet Noelle. She's an eight-year-old ocelot. The ocelot has a very wide distribution throughout Central America, Latin America, and the hemisphere. It's also Trinidad's top cat, the island's apex predator. But no one knows much about it. Trinidad is the only place where we have a long-term population of ocelots that exists in the absence of larger predators. We know essentially nothing about the animal except that it is here, and we're looking for any information, the most basic information. Nigel Noriega wants the world to know why the ocelots are important. The ocelot is seen by so few people that when it is seen, people assume it might be something different than it is. So in Trinidad, often ocelots are killed on sight because people believe it to be something dangerous. On an island like Trinidad, the smallest actions can have devastating consequences. Researchers are trying to figure out what could happen if they lost their top cat. If we can save it, we save many other animals along the food chain. They're starting by collecting the most basic data. Heading up to camera nine, B and three. These two cameras have been very consistent. At this wildlife center, people and ocelots coexist. And hunting is strictly forbidden. Okay, trap one. Let's take it out and see what's happening. What we got here is one of the 10 cameras. And this camera actually takes shots by a means of an infrared motion sensor. It allows for us to get colored pictures of the animals so that we can better identify the ocelots, which are a primary target. It helps them monitor their distribution and social habits. They've already unveiled some incredible secrets. These photos show the animals aren't scared of roaming around places where people are also treading. Okay, now we got 81 pics this time out. Apart from learning what ocelots are like in the wild, Nigel also wants to learn more about their DNA. The information we get create a great baseline for studies going forward in the future. With the help of Ricardo Mead. If it's discovered that we have a particular special animal, um, wouldn't you want to keep that rather than let it just evaporate into the air? Wouldn't the world want to know that? The more you know, the more science, the more facts you have, the better judgments and decisions you're able to make moving forward. Ricardo runs a local wildlife conservation center. Noel is one of the resident ocelots. There is a possibility, as with many of the animals here, they are unique. Having been isolated from the mainland for so long, sometimes a subspecies, a totally different species, would evolve. So we need to check this out to see if we have something totally special here. And especially if we do, we need to protect those animals.